Hello everyone, in this video I want to speak about StackMat. So, as a starter, what is StackMat? StackMat is a new way, new between quotes because it appeared something in 2019 or 2020, to apply math operations on single curves. <coughs> so, let's put um, from now all operations involving multiple curves aside, it's just dedicated for one curve operation. In the past, let's say you wanted to create, to apply a scale factor or a filter on this curve, you had to create a separate curve and to use expression to do it. With a stack math operation, you can basically just add on, right click on add stack math operation and you can, for instance, ask for a filter. Let me use this one. And you can say apply as stack mat. So here I got my curves smooth a little bit. Um, by the way, I can always revert back. Uh, so you can apply different filters, whatever. And the, the beauty of this thing is that you can append operation to stack mat. So let's say here I started with a signal, which is an acceleration. And I want to apply uh, a scale factor now because uh, once I have filtered it, I want to see as a G as an acceleration. So there are a couple of stack mat operation which are available by default. This is the one that you see there. And we do propose some methods in order to add custom um, stack mat operation. Uh, so let me load here a preference file, which is called preference stack mat. This is one that I will share as a link in the description. And now if I come again to the stack math operation, you see that I have now more options such as the Y. So here, for instance, I could add a multiplier, whatever, uh, and apply it to the curve, apply. So here's the scale I've been applied and I could continue again and again saying okay I want to do an offset because I'm not interested in the beginning of the curve I want to start at this big value here so I could decide to shift from whatever the value um, and say that I want to offset it from minus dot uh, zero zero one for instance apply so now I start up to the peak. Oh, I can still update it at any time. I should have queried um, the value for a better uh, positioning. Okay, still not good, but this is the ID. And I could even trim and say that I want a curve between zero and dot one, which is my final point. And now I got rid of the previous thing. So you can combine this together, which is really nice. You can, at any time, you can start again, deactivating some functions, see uh, the different effects. Now there is one great thing about this, is that every stack mat operation is recorded into the HWC commands. So here we can take all these lines and we can paste them. Oh, sorry, we can uh, not paste this way. By the way, we can um, copy to TCL or copy to Python. So here, let me copy to Python. And uh, you see that there are different operations. So first, let me, we're starting, everyone starting with evil HWC. So first, let me delete a couple of unnecessary lines because I first, tweaked the, um, the SO filter. And you see here, for instance, you have P1, uh, W1, I1, saying that we applied this treatment on page one, window one, and index one, the so first curve. Now, the beauty of this thing is, let's go back to our hypergraph session. And um, let's say, okay, let's open a new page. And let's load all my accelerometers. Or let's load a couple of accelerometers. 
and Ethelbert repeat the same operation again and again. So let's say that I want to do three curves here. So I have these three curves now, which are in page two. The beauty of this thing is I can go there. I can say that I'm not working with P1 anymore, but P2. And I can say here, I could say I go to one, two, three, or I can even say all. And same for all of the curves here, Control B, Control B, and the same. Now I just need some extra line. Here you just need to add some couple of extra information, starting with importing the HW package, and then you have to precede every HWC by H, uh, every HWC by, by HW dot. Uh, so sorry, I did some tests here, so I need to go back to page two. Um, let's do it again. Control A, Control C. So now. Let me go back to hypergraph and just copy paste these four lines into Python and enter. And you, you see everything has been applied in a few clicks. So here I hope yeah, this gives you a better overview about stack math and how you can use it, especially for automation purposes. Opposite, uh, up it helps.